Hey what's going on you guys, I'm Prakha back from techrest.com and today I'm going to show you how you can integrate Google sign in in your Android app. Okay, so authentication plays a major role in every application and no one likes to input all the emails and passwords over and over again. So yes, Google sign in can be a handy method to just authenticate your users with one click uh, as we all have Android apps and they have Google accounts so that is very easy. Uh, to authenticate your users uh, using the Google sign-in. Okay, so for this, let's get started. Okay, so firstly, uh, I want you to log in your Firebase account. If you do not have your Firebase account, you should create one right now because Firebase is just amazing. So search for firebase.google.com. Log in with your Google account. Or uh, if you don't have, uh, if you do not have a Google account, which uh, I hope you do. Um, make the uh, make a Google account and uh, make a Firebase account as well and go to your console here okay you can directly visit uh, firebase.com console.firebase.com so that will be really handy if you bookmark this because we are going to use it quite a bit okay so now I want you to add your application um, there's there are two ways that you can do it either you can add your application directly here and export the you know uh, the Google JSON, the Google services or services uh, for, uh, for the Google uh, which is a JSON file in your project but uh, we are going to follow a simpler method that is directly doing it in the application okay so this is an application which I named as Google auth sign in okay that's a spelling mistake <laughs> okay never mind okay so Google auth sign in I'm going to refactor it uh, later okay so Google Auth sign in uh, we have a main activity and we have an activity main XML which is the XML file of this activity this is a completely fresh project not connected to Firebase okay so now click on tools select Firebase uh, an assistant will load up um, we have to go to authentication and select the email and pa password authentication though we are not using email and password authentication but still in order to import the dependencies uh, we need this we are going to connect that to the Firebase now we are going to connect that this project to the Firebase account so it will ask us if we are going to merge that with the pre-existing application or you want to create a new Firebase uh, project okay so I'll create a new project which is uh, Google Auth sign in okay so which is Google Auth sign in which is fine and uh, please look at your account I want you to be logged in with the same account with a Firebase account okay so this the account in the Android studio should match the account with the Firebase okay so you can select your country region mm, entirely up to you now we have uh, to connect that to the Firebase and it will establish a connection and it will just upload the, your project uh, into the Firebase and update that Mm, okay, it's going to take some time. So now, after adding the project to the Firebase, you can just go to your Firebase account. Uh, so I'm gonna go to my Firebase account right now okay so this is my firebase account and you can you have to spot the app that you have just added in okay so this is the google auth sign in that we have just added now what you need to do is uh, go to your authentication tab you uh, go to your sign in methods and please turn on whatever sign in method you are using because uh, that's a very serious problem when you are done with everything and the thing does not work and you are very confused that what happened okay so many of us uh, forget even I forget some time to enable this so first enable this uh, and just uh, give it a support email uh, any email that you want and you know so just save it like that and that's it now it will work perfectly you are using email password whatever you are using just email this enable that here and um, so let's continue so okay we are done with this now we have to add the dependencies okay so that's another bug in Android studio that will not add the dependencies correctly because it will add two versions I don't know why uh, side by side so what I'm going to do is just scroll down to the bottom and you'll find a Google sign-in link 
you go, you are going to click it and it will going to open in a new browser tab now this is all about google sign in in android okay so we have the two dependencies you know to be implemented okay so we are just going to copy that uh, to our gradle script which is a module which is the app level gradle file do not do not just do the project level gradle file no it's not there you have to find the dependencies here you can just copy and paste those, dep uh, those dependencies you can just close the system now and you are going to click sync now okay and if you are using any other thing uh, rather uh, you know uh, for firebase like databases and stuff you just look at the version and keep it same like if you are using the firebase database you should use firebase database 16.0.5 not different versions for firebase it may cause some errors in your gradle files okay so now next we are going to just uh, copy some codes okay integrate google sign in in app by following the steps okay so now we are going to configure the google sign in options okay google sign in options you're just going to copy that okay in your main activity dot java which in the on create method okay so we are not uh, you know worked upon designing uh, we have not implemented the sign in button we are going to do that soon but just let uh, just get past the you know these things uh, the code okay so <clears throat> Now what we are going to do is uh, we just going to okay so when you configure the Google sign in option object call request ID token so here's the request ID token we are requesting the ID token okay and then we are going to you must pass the server client ID to the request ID token okay so we are not uh, just working upon the sign in method we are going to come that uh, we are going to copy this on activity result which will allow us to um, you know see whether the result was correct or not we have uh, the user signed in or not oops okay I'm pressing the wrong key I guess Wait, just a second you just need to press press alt plus enter in order to import the classes here we go here we go so all import okay so we are getting two errors now with firebase auth with firebase auth with google that's a method that we are not implemented yet rc sign in now rc sign in is your uh, uh, sign in id so just gonna copy that and uh, that's an integer by the way so that's a request code okay so uh, just going to go and make it a uh, global variable like any number would work um, just assign an int rc sign in two six five whatever you like okay that's not there okay now we are getting an error in tag so we'll just create a string which is named as tag and uh, we'll equate it to google sign in okay we're done we are getting just two errors that is the default web client id okay so next method that we are going to implement it is uh, the firebase auth with google and that's a really easy process in order to authenticate your users really easy yeah. nice work Google okay so <coughs> we are having that method which is firebase auth with Google now so we are going to import the classes by pressing alt plus enter oops it will import everything you know I just need to press alt plus enter okay so we are not going to get snack bar because we have do not uh, we do not have the design library okay now update ui is another method that you can implement uh, depending upon uh, uh, the parameter you pass so you can update the user interface you can you can go to another activity but we are not going to do that as such okay so the update user okay so that's uh, we are getting mauth okay so m auth is uh, nothing but a butterfire base not user but auth it is an m auth oops m auth and uh, we have done m auth equals firebase auth dot get instance we're just going to get the instance of the authentication that whether the user is signed in or not uh, perfectly fine okay uh, now we are going to go ahead and try we are almost done okay 
now we are going to uh, okay that's fine that's fine that's fine ah uh, yeah we are almost done so now we have uh, the void sign in sign in method that we are just going to copy that we have kept it for the last okay so void sign in wherever we want and go yeah you are getting this error because we have not implemented that google sign in client google sign in client uh, m google sign in sign in client client okay and google sign in client <coughs> now we are not going to get that error again but uh, we need to do something okay so here we have m google sign in client is equals to google sign in dot uh, get client okay so this star gs 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 o and here we go this is what we have okay the default web client id so in order to have the default web client id now we are going to do uh, we are going to go for assistance and add firebase okay so we'll add some things so we do not need to have the web client id import ourselves We'll do it stuff we're going to get there okay i know because that's an error which we are, we are not aware of i don't know what happens with me or maybe somebody else i have no idea about it absolutely no idea Okay, let's fire up the emulator in the meantime so the emulator is running when we are going to test the program mm, okay so nexus 5 will work now we are going to go to main activity xml okay so we are just going to have a hello world okay fine that's hello world so very good I'm gonna change some colors because I don't like these colors at all uh, it's a very weird combination I don't know why um, yep here we go hmm. yeah okay so we are done with this uh, after we have implemented um, with the assistant we are going to get the web ID so that uh, so the default web client ID that is very good and we have changed the colors as well so yes we have okay Sh colors <laughs> i guess okay so we are going to delete that text view we do not want hello world now just open up uh, and then we have uh, the android sign in button which is a match parent and match content okay. uh, i mean wrap content not match content sorry so we have a sign in button we can drag it here and uh, we are just going to have some constraints around it so it does not move okay so we are done and let's give it an id of sign in button so sign in okay let's go with sign in now we are going to get a sign in button which is a google um, sign button google sign button or we can uh, we can have a sign in never mind okay that's not double L by the way. So yep. Ah uh, yep. Okay. So equals find view. So we are going to find it by the ID. Find view by ID sign in. Okay. So now what we are going to do is it's your choice. Either you can have the on click or the on click listener. So I'm going to have an on click listener. So yep. Let's have an on click listener. So uh, Google sign in button dot uh, set on click listener new on click oh, not out of memory bound on click listener okay so on click listener then we have uh, to just call sign in and that's it mm, done okay so we are just going to have that run on our nexus 5x okay so the installation is complete and now we have this 
I'm going to click it and yep that's a success we are going to get a Google sign in button because we do not have any account so it will redirect us towards adding an account so we are successfully done with the Google sign in and um, so yes that's it thank you hey guys that's a quick announcement for you if you want to learn how you can pass the user information including the name the email ID and the profile picture from a Google account it is just mentioned below as the blog ends uh, as the blog uh, with the project ends so you are going to have a heading uh, named uh, user data parsing uh, from the Google account and then you can copy the code and we are going to use the glide library to load the image uh, in the image view um, so you can just read the blog and that's a very simple description so you can just read and do it uh, the links will be in the uh, in the description if you are watching it on our blog um, you know it's just above the video okay so thank you hope you guys enjoyed this lesson please tell us what can we improve in the comment section below and just again thank you